Hello there, Pisces. This is Sophie with Lady of the Unknown Oracle. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, I am so excited to have you here with us. Thanks for joining. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for all of your love, support, comments, donations. You know, you guys are just the light of my life and I want you to know that I love you very much. I'm so grateful to all of you for being here and being my confirmation that I'm um, on my path. Okay, so I, I love you guys and thank you so much. Um, before we get started, I want to quickly note that I won't be assigning time frames to our readings together. Whenever you see this reading, it's because there is something valuable here for you to take away. This could be a shift in perspective, a truth, a lesson. Something here is calling your attention. So um, whatever doesn't apply, you know, leave it here. But if you are here, whether or not this reading, the circumstances in this reading are representative of what you're currently going through, this could, for example, be a pretty clear image of what you have just left and so there could be a lesson here that we discussed that could consolidate the information that you've just learned so it could give you clarity in that respect or just something here can help you know help prime your mind for for being prepared in whatever is to come okay because this could be your future energy so um but you know at the end of the day if if you know if, if you're not attracted to stay for the reading that's all right um thank you for dropping by anyway and i love you Okay, but uh, we're going to get right into this. All right, my loves. This is going to be your general love reading. Okay, Pisces. If you would like any further clarification on some of the elements that I cover in the reading, you can book a personal reading with me. All the information is in the description box down below. And with that, we are going to get started. So Pisces, I just want to let you guys know that I am going to be a Pisces for a little while. <laughs> because... There were no cards that came out, but in every cut, there was some indication of strong emotion or soulmate energy, okay? Seven of Wands with Temperance. Someone, a Sagittarius in particular, could be resisting the restoration of harmony between you guys. It could also be that someone, a Sagittarius, is fighting to make this connection work. So if you're connecting with a Sagittarius, go take a look at their reading, because Sagittarians right now are going through a huge... Pisces, and I mean huge, like they met the love of they, they met the love of their life. Sagittarians, Gemini's, like they've they've met the loves of their lives, and I feel if you're connecting with one of them, you're probably the apple of their eye. If you have them fighting for it. Now, if they're not fighting for the connection, they could be resisting it. They could be in a three party, and that's that's posing a little bit of an issue in the 3D world, despite the, the close spiritual connection that they feel. Right, but Pisces, your energy, it's truly just, you know, it's just so sweet. It's so, so sweet and so sure, like it's so stable, you know, like there's something very undeniable about whatever this connection is. With the Eight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, someone could have left in, in the recent past, someone could have left behind a really unequal situation. So you, Pisces, or the person that you're connecting with, have or are thinking about leaving a, a, a connection that they are currently in or a situation that they are currently in that really doesn't make them feel appreciated, doesn't make them feel like what they're, the time that they're putting in is really where they want to put it. Remember that the, the, the person in the Eight of Cups is not just walking away from something. They are walking toward the Two Cups. They're walking toward a connection. They've, they're leaving behind the emotional investment that they've put into another person, a place, a condition, a circumstance, they're leaving that behind because they are actively now pursuing something that they know brings them emotional satisfaction and fulfillment. Right now, you or the person you're connecting with is the Ten of Swords. The, the, the challenge here is the moon. On your mind or the person that you're connecting with's mind is the Six of Wands. In your heart space is the Hermit. In the recent past, you've got the Hanged Man. Coming in, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. How you, how you see yourself is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, that's beautiful. Um, in your environment, we've got the Ten of Wands. All right. And in your fears, you've got the Queen of Wands. And in the potential outcome here... We've got the Queen of Swords. All right, so. 
let's see so really quick i'm going to do a roll call so we've got strong pisces here very strong pisces cancer virgo is here aquarius lego uh lego um aquarius uh, leo scorpio taurus libra gemini aquarius very strong aquarius energy very strong leo energy very strong pisces energy okay so if you're dealing with any of those signs something here there could be a, a, a very direct a very direct connection a very direct connection um, that we're going to make here a very clear connection most likely so here's the deal pisces there's a lot of unknowns surrounding this situation someone is going within or at the very least someone is really preoccupied about an earth sign someone that they're most likely married to someone who they want to achieve victory with but there's a sense of not knowing not knowing how exactly to proceed there's a lot of pressure being put on you there's a lot of pressure being put on that other person or on the connection in general something here needs to be left behind and if this is not you pisces because i know in your reading in the reading we just did for you for april there's a very very significant connection between you and another person so again i am i am inclined to say that if the person that you are with is letting go of something this could be very representative of them or if you are the one needing to let go of something this could be very representative of you this reading though is going to be it's going to be less about the nature of your connection because i think that has already been established that you guys share a very very strong connection this reading is going to be a little bit more relevant to what's going on with you in the 3d what's going on with you in practical matters of home and relationships with other people whether you're married or not um, in, a, in a committed relationship already or not whether you have the approval of your social circle or not all right possibilities of moving in together or not overarching energy is the eight of wands communication very fast movement forward okay so this is swift progress if this is not communication right now with the ten of swords the current the current circumstances require the release of something with the ace of cups okay there is either there is either the need to release a connection or the need to release something in order to make this connection work the ace of cups you guys had all the aces i think come out in your april in your april reading right you guys have all the aces come out so it feels to me like this is this is definitely pertinent to someone who's got to release things in their life in order to make the connection work it's not enough to have a strong connection you need to you need to make plans and you need to make sure that all of the circumstances are in place to make this um, to nurture this connection something needs to be released with the ten of swords old way of thinking old way of behaving an old lifestyle an old connection whatever it is the way they prioritize you in their life is going to have to change and if this isn't if this isn't them excuse me if this isn't them needing to make those changes this could be speaking directly to you pisces so just be aware here in the um in the challenging energy is the moon with the three of pentacles this person could be in a partnership and they're not telling you the moon can be secrets the moon can be the unknown right kind of like that that curtain that fog that's being put over something it could be also though that this person you know could be facing a lot of stress at work um, maybe you guys kind of started your relationship at work and so something involving your workplace needs to be addressed in order to move past the connection um, you know maybe maybe there's something integrally off-putting about your connection like you know how you guys are appearing in the in the 3d world and by by letting everyone that you work with know that you guys are together that could cause some some pressure on the connection to where someone might be encouraged to to, to release the connection altogether this is strong um pisces or cancer though so at the very least if this does not if this isn't discussing a secret anything or an unknown anything this is really just the fact that whoever i'm connecting with right now feels like they want a partnership like a real partnership with this person 
especially if, if this person is Pisces or Cancer, if you are a Pisces and you're dealing with a Cancer, this moon card to me is taking on the energy kind of like of the lovers, where you guys deep, deep down inside, you know, in your in your heart of hearts, this connection is not only so incredible, but it's not enough. You guys really want to make this something more. You want the family. You want stability. You want each other. You want the day-to-day. -day. You want the ups and the downs, the good and the bads, the, the, you know, through sickness and in health. You want all of it. So it's not just a connection. It's a profound desire to, to see each other through tough times. On your mind, you've got the Six of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. So right now, um, you feel like you're handling this transition pretty well, whatever that means to you. I don't know how many things you are juggling. If you're juggling work, right? If you're juggling work and and being with this person. Now, with, with the Two of Pentacles, the fact that we do have multiple court cards here, it could be that someone is feeling pretty victorious about the way that they are juggling multiple people, right? They're very pleased with their ability to have this connection with you and have this connection with another person, or maybe, you know, they're feeling really, you know, they're, they're feeling really good about maybe even the fact that if something were to happen to this love, they still have someone, you know, as a plan B. They feel secure though. Someone here feels very happy about the fact that there are, you know, they haven't committed to any one thing yet. So the fact that they haven't limited themselves, they feel really, they feel really satisfied with that. Um... Someone here is, is most likely, a, they want more, but they could be a little bit afraid of the connection. What's going on in the heart space is the hermit. So there's Virgo here. This person could be ending things with a Virgo. They could be getting to the next level of something with a Virgo. If you have Virgo in your chart, all right, let's see. Ending, no, they're ending something. They're ending something. They're ending something. Someone here is ending an emotional attachment here with a Virgo. All right, Pisces. That could be you. That could be someone else. If this isn't a Virgo, someone is bringing an end to being withdrawn emotionally. They've been really holding back from you. That's not going to happen. They feel this pull towards you, um, which is something that they're not telling you right now, especially if they're an earth sign, especially if they're a Virgo, especially if they're an earth sign. They're not telling you that this is how they really feel just yet. In the recent past with the hanged man, someone was looking at something differently. There was an ending, a release. Okay. Um, you know, Pisces, this could have been the ending of... This could have been an ending with an, uh, of a connection that this person or you ended with another person. You might have jumped from a strong connection that you had with another person into a new connection. Either that, which if that is the case with you, okay, is if that is the case with you and you left behind a connection with another Pisces or you just left a, a, another connection in general in the past and you just jumped right into this new love with this person, you guys are infatuated, maybe you guys met at work, they do care about you a lot and they could be in the process of ending something with somebody else. But just be mindful that they may not take the relationship very seriously. They could be seeing that having you is a victory and, you know, but they, they're, they're, before we even, before I even say that, let's see what this 10 of pentacles is. Nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles, page of wands. So someone's going to be taking their time. Someone's going to be taking their time, Pisces. If you jumped from an old relationship to a new one really quickly, this person does definitely feel a connection with you, all right? But just be mindful that they don't intend on jumping into anything too quickly. With the Page of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, this is stagnant energy. The Page of Wands is very dynamic, but the page does not know yet which road they want to go down. So this is the point in the court cards where a decision actually has to be made. The Page of Wands is just kind of sitting there and being like, all right, I have all this energy. Where do I want to go? So they're indecisive. The Seven of Pentacles, you've, you've invested your time and energy into something, but it's that point in the Pentacles growth where the growth is just so slow that you're almost questioning whether or not you want to be there. And the Nine of Pentacles talks about being removed from something, being self-sufficient and not needing to be attached to anything. You have everything you need. You don't really need anything else. So while coming in, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, right, which is very strong indication for building a legacy. 
especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, which you have wands energy with the six of wands. If you're dealing with a fire sign, strong Leo here, but Leo, Aries, Sag, um, while this person may want the Ten of Pentacles with you, this person wants to build a foundation with you, or at least they have the idea of wanting a commitment and a long-term, you know, a long-term relationship with someone at some point, they seem to be pretty content right now with being single. And they're not sure if they're ready to limit themselves to being in just one relationship. Okay, now that may not be you. Um, you might have just released a Pisces in the past. And now as a result of that release, right, you, you are in a, a beautiful connection with another person. They have helped you heal. The Ace of Cups is healing. It's love. It's self-love. There's something about being with this person that truly is just, you know, it, it just, it restores, it restores your, your, your emotional fulfillment. Like it just, it restores your your understanding of love. Things may have soured out with another person and you were left feeling really backstabbed by another person, but you feel very, very strongly connected and catered to by this person. And they reciprocate. They want to build something with you. But they could be in transition. They could be in transition. They could be somebody that perhaps maybe you guys, for example, maybe you guys met online. And now that they have found you and they want something new, maybe on their mind is, well, how do I overcome this feeling of, uh, how do I overcome this feeling of having so many backup plans? You know, so now you and I are together. I really enjoy your company. I really want to build something with you, but I still have like five people hitting up my phone every day. So how do I tell them? Like, how do, how do I make peace with the fact that now by saying yes to you, I'm saying no to all of these other possibilities? Because emotionally, they're being drawn out of their shell. They are coming closer to you. But there's like one foot in, one foot out. You know, not, not in terms of commitment. They want commitment. But they're in a, they're just, you know, they're in a stage right now where they're not entirely, they're trying to bat away their old habits. Let's put it that way. They're trying to bat away their old habits. They're used to one type of lifestyle. And by transitioning into this new one with you, they're just kind of, they're hesitating. They're holding still. They're not moving that much. So they're working on things with you, but the movement forward is not that dynamic right now, at least on their end. If that's not them, this is you. And they see that. With the Wheel of Fortune here, someone feels very lucky. Someone feels very in control. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune, you know, the Wheel of Fortune talks about not being in control. It's called, it's, it's divine timing, right? It's where the divine comes in. And this emperor, if you're connecting with an Aries, might feel kind of out of control. This person could also, though, feel very, very connected to you in a sense where they just feel very lucky to have you. You know, they feel very lucky to have you with this Ace of Cups and the fact that they desire stability. Like, you've actually inspired the idea of having something long-term and permanent with someone. You know, so they could feel very, very lucky. Very, you know, like they're ready. They're ready to stand in their power to attract their counterpart. Um, if that is not the case, okay, there might've been a moment recently where you felt like control was not yours and you feel like you are finally stepping back into your control. You feel like you're finally able to get a handle on your emotions. You're able to get a handle on your finances. You're able to get a handle on the connections in your life. And if that's the case, you might be hesitant to let that go even though you want stability and you want to build an empire and you want to have a legacy with another person, you might be hesitating because you just recently regained control and you're, you're not sure if you want to eliminate, you know, relinquish that control to someone just yet. Now in the environment, we've got the 10 of wands with the seven of wands. Okay. So there's, there's a resistance here to letting go of, of old burdens. Someone could also be fighting to let these burdens go. Don't get me wrong. The seven of wands is standing. It's, they're taking the higher ground. They're doing what they feel like is, is most virtuous in this circumstance. So Pisces, whoever this is, they're really just doing the best that they can. Okay, this is not easy. I'm, I'm shifting my weight on this stool in case you guys heard the squeaking. I did not, I did not fart. Just letting you know. Uh, um, <laughs> the 10 of wands, someone here is just doing the best that they can, Pisces. This could be you or the other person. They're doing the best that they can, you know, the elements are here. They feel what they feel. You know, they're seeing everything for what it is, but they are really just doing the absolute best that they can. If this is a fire sign, 
Aries or Sag in particular, um, you know, this is, or no, Aries and Leo, sorry, Aries and Leo, they are definitely doing the best that they can. You know, even if you don't feel that way, they really are. So here in the, um, in the fears, we've got the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Wands. There could be a fear here that this is only a sex-based relationship. There could be a fear here that someone is having sexual, um, you know, having a sex-only relationship with another person or other people. If you are concerned that that is the case, while I can't confirm that that is absolutely the case, that they are involved with other people, um, I would say that at the very least they are thinking about what they will do with these other people. In terms of will they stay with these people in their phone and and connects and you know and connections, or are they going to let go of the connections? Um, I see here that there is confirmation that this could be a part of their past, and they are wondering whether or not they are going to relinquish it completely. But they are thinking about it, like they are they are approaching you seriously enough where the connection is one that they can see themselves really really actively participating in. They really, really enjoy you. They enjoy your company. They enjoy what you guys share. They are truly considering building with you. <clears throat> that is for sure. But they are in transition. And they're not sure how exactly they're going to be able to tell everybody else no. I do feel like there are multiples, but your, your suspicion at the very least, your suspicion is confirmed because I see it too. But they take your, they take you very seriously. All right. In the potential outcome, we've got the Queen of Swords. So the need here to make a decision with death, the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Need to make a decision. Now remember, this is things are going to start speeding up really, really quickly. With the Wheel of Fortune here and the Eight of Wands, whatever was taking a long time to progress forward is going to be moving along very quickly as soon as this decision is made. The Queen of Swords is very akin to justice, that same justice-like energy, Libra energy. Could be dealing with a Libra. This person could be a Libra. If this person is a Libra, they are taking a stand. They are standing in their power as the King of Pentacles. They are transforming themselves and making the necessary decision, and they will be choosing you if this is Libra. Now, if this is an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is someone who is still in transition. They know they have to make a decision, and they are in the process of transforming. They, they, they're in, they have also chosen you. They're, whoever this person is, if it's a Scorpio, strong Scorpio, strong Libra, could be Gemini, Aquarius as well, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you know, fire is here with wands, but very strong air, strong earth, Scorpio as well is here. Whoever this person is though, this person is transforming into the King of Pentacles. They are becoming the loyal, dedicated, committed husband or wife you know, the person who wants to build, that they are becoming that person and it's a choice that they are making and you have inspired that choice. Especially Pisces, if you have air in your chart um, or if you have earth in your chart or if you have uh, if you have Scorpio in your chart. If you have any one of those in your chart, um, then that's just added confirmation that this is you appearing in the reading and they have been inspired by you to create a strong committed relationship but you are the first of your kind to enter their sphere so they are really doing their best to eliminate the old part of them that is used to having options and used to having multiple people on speed dial and they are really trying to do right by you by becoming who they need to be either monetarily they could be stepping up their game financially and kind of building a little nest egg you know where they really they're, they're putting money aside and they want to prepare for you. Um, you know, or they just, in terms of what stable relationships look like, they are choosing to act in alignment with what that looks like. So they are steadily, for example, steadily starting to reject new offers for love. They're rejecting new offers for hookups. They're, you know, rejecting messages from people. Like, for example, maybe this person hasn't deleted all the numbers off of their phone. But when people text them or people call them like, hey, what are you up to? You want to come by? They're like, no, I don't want to come by. So the message, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like 
they're, they're still relics. They're still like the energy of, of what they're leaving behind, but they're no longer receptive to those energies the way they once were. This person is slowly starting to transition towards you and build that closeness. Um, just keep that in mind. If you are, if you are feeling, here's the thing. If you are feeling Pisces, like this person is not totally on the same page and you're, you're noticing that this is not the case and they still are responding back to those messages in a way that you don't appreciate. Um, then this message, you know, this energy here is not for you. And I would not recommend pursuing a connection with someone who you feel connected to, but who is not respecting the connection in a relationship sense. It's like what I tell, you know, my clients who I do these, you know, their personal readings for, you can have a connection and not have a relationship that exists. You can have a soulmate and they beat you. And that is not, that's not to say that there's not a connection, but holy cow, that is not the connection that you're going to stay in. That's a karmic soulmate. This person was there to teach you a lesson in self-love. Now get the hell out. You get what I'm saying? So just because there's a connection doesn't mean there's a relationship. So if this person does not treat you the way you, you want to be treated, the way you know you deserve to be treated, then there's nothing here to entertain. There's nothing here to entertain. There's nothing here to build with this person if they don't want to build with you. But if you see that this person is sincere and they're just you know, a guilty party of always having the past kind of catching up with them, but you can tell that they're making efforts to, to put, push away the past to be with you. Keep, just let them do their thing. Let them, let them continue on their path and just continue things the way you've been, you know, stay connected, share your emotions. Someone here is coming out of their shell emotionally. So allow that to happen. That's okay. Someone here may have been jaded in the past some kind of distrust between them and another person. There's a lot of release here. Something has been ended or something is currently ending. So be aware and be gentle, especially if you can tell that this person is respecting the connection. It's just their past is catching up with them. You know, just take it slow. There's no need to rush here. This person's intentions are with you. They want to build, but they need to kind of get the old wiring out of their brain. And to do that, some time has to pass where they are living the life that they must to be this new person. They have to spend some time in those new shoes. Give them the time to get used to what it feels like to be this King of Pentacles um, before they commit. You don't want to rush any of this. This person is doing their best, is what I see. And if this isn't them, this is you. And that they see, they see the change. This is evident. This is evident. So they see the change, but there is a slow forward movement. And patience is really, really needed here. All right? Pisces, I love you guys so very much. You are on the cusp of a brand new beginning. Okay, do not rush anything. This is beautiful. Um, the connection is is so loving. So if you haven't if you haven't already looked at your April reading, okay, the readings for April were not specific to love, but Pisces in particular was was a like there was a lot of love in the Pisces reading that I couldn't really ignore. So go ahead and take a look at that because I think that is very representative of the connection you guys share. And this reading today is a little bit more representative of the kind of obstacles you guys are facing here in the 3D. All right, the kind of practical obstacles, the, the real human, the real human um, challenges that you guys are facing outside of the spiritual spiritual connection that you guys share. Okay, if there's anything that I covered here, guys, that you would like some more clarification on, please get in touch with me for a personal reading. All right, all the information is down in the description box below. Um, but if this is, um, you know, where, where we leave each other, I just want you to know that I'm so grateful to have been able to serve you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. I love, I love hearing from you guys. Um, and just, just know that I love you. All right, Pisces, I'll see you guys next time. Please enjoy your reading. And until then, lots of love and huge bear hugs. Bye, Pisces.